All right, and welcome back to another episode of the Laces Out podcast. This is week eight of the NFL, and on the call, we got everyone here today. Uh, we have Waterboy and Jay Bunk. What's going on, guys? What's up, man? Not a lot. Just enjoying the day like always, man. Glad to be here again. Yes, sir, always. Uh, and the cool thing about this little group right now, in our league, we're the only uh, teams that are 5-2 and two well, I guess we can add wit, but as three hosts of the Laces Out podcast going five and two, not a bad start for this little group. So uh, what are y'all's thoughts on all of us being five and two? Did you think that was even possible? <laughs> the odds were definitely not in our favor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have won some money. <laughs> yeah, for sure. The odds were, uh, were uh, I mean, up there with some some big parlays that I've been placing in the last recent weeks. Mm. But, um, well, week eight's here, but uh, does anyone want to talk a little bit about the week seven recap? Any games uh, to kind of go back and look over? Because I'll bring up one just to start it, and that's going to be the Texans versus the Packers. I knew it was going to be a good game. I knew it was going to be a shootout, but I did not know it was going to come down to literally the wire um i mean that was a great game anyone uh get to watch that one i kind of flipped around between it but yeah it was a game but i couldn't believe i mean the packers defense definitely been playing some uh good football but couldn't believe i mean what they hold uh trial to you under 100 yards that's crazy nobody nobody would have guessed that going in i was expecting a lot more explosive plays from both sides of the team not a lot of uh you know, not a lot coming from the Texans. Really, really surprised me, but maybe it shows good how good the Packers are. Yeah, I mean, it was it was definitely a low scoring. I mean, lower scoring than I guess what we thought, but it was still a close one. I mean, they, they kept it close the whole game. It wasn't, I, I don't even know, I don't think it was within a touchdown the whole game. So, uh, yeah, back and forth. I, I'm looking at the first quarter, it was 3-0 Texans. Second quarter, the, uh, the Texans won 16-14 third quarter Packers came back with a 7-0 and then they both had three at the end so yeah the biggest uh, but, lead was four points <laughs> yeah yeah so Jordan Love was really the guy to I mean he do anytime he's been in he's been popping off so shout out to him he's been showing love to all of his receivers Dobbs uh Jaden Reed Wicks Wicks caught a touchdown um so yeah the Lewis Packers are rolling and uh Texans didn't look bad though I, I, it, that game literally could have went either way so um, Texans still look good though. Um, but one they team that I can just highlight on who sucks, uh, besides my Carolina Panthers, cause that was embarrassing, but Menace <laughs> was on last week and, uh, we were talking about that a little bit and we, it kind of went the way I thought it was going to. I said, you know, the uh, commanders were going to basically possibly <clears throat> already pass up the over under by themselves and they damn near did. I, so aim close, man. And what would a uh, Hubbard scored? It was under five. I mean, that's a trash time touchdown. That shouldn't even. I needed that. I hate though. the defense I that. gave I it Hubbard. up. Forty to nothing would have looked so much better. <laughs> <laughs> I had Hubbard uh, as an anytime touchdown score. So when he got that, I was happy. It was a trash touchdown, but it was good for discounts. So yeah, your blood pressure was up a little bit before that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Absolutely. And uh, another. I'm trying to think another game that kind of went kind of crazy um south would be uh man i couldn't believe the, the really the eagles i mean i figured they would beat the giants but the how i mean the giants look dysfunctional was borderline with the panthers yeah yeah i mean they you could probably put the, the giants the titans the browns and the panthers all on the field at one time and hell they would tie at three apiece <laughs> <laughs> they're all terrible I don't know. Famous Jameis is going to bring the Browns back from the dead. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I really Nick hope got a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have think he had about 30 or 40 yards, though. He didn't have a lot of uh, no, meat on the bone after that. Uh, I, he might have been on a snap count, but I'm not sure. But he did get the punch in. Uh, so. That could have been very, yeah, they could have been very true. Um. Another crazy game was the Lions Vikings that could have went either way as well. Um, luckily, the Lions got it 
Um, I know. I think Menace voted, or he went for the Vikings, and yeah, that game was a uh, another good one. I mean, the Lions definitely started out hot. I mean, actually, the Vikings went up 10-0, but then after that second quarter, 21 points the Lions, um, and then another seven in the third, and then three in the fourth. But I mean, that was a good game too. Uh, Gibbs, 116 yards, two touchdowns, and then. Obviously, Amon Ross St. Brown gets his 100 yards and a touchdown as well. So that team, I think it was like halftime and Goff was still perfect. He, he went 22 for 25. So that he's been he's been dialed in. Yeah, man. His I'll see something another day. Four. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying his efficiency is just wild. How accurate and yeah, how accurate he is. Yeah, it was, um, over the last three or four games, he's got um, shit. What is it? Less uh, less incompletions than he does touchdown passes. Wow. <laughs> Total, of course. You know everything. Yeah. Total yeah. up. I'm like that is insane. Yeah, he is. He is. He's dealing it up. Yeah, I mean that whole. That's the thing is that whole team is so deadly, and, and you know we were talking a little bit pre-show about the uh, you know Sam Laporta because I, I made a trade. I, I went pit straight up for Laporta, and then after last game, I was like, shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But Laporta just he's not getting that many looks because everyone else is you know they're just getting a piece of the pie, and everyone's uh, you know just kind of sharing it. And one person who's getting left out is Laporta, so. Um, but didn't uh, didn't David Montgomery went down right? Yeah, he went down. Yeah, I said here we go again. Yeah, he he went out for a quarter, come back in, you know, whistled and but but he's been practicing all week. So uh, okay, so he's back. Still good things ahead. He had a fumble in there, but he's uh, he's played good ball all season. No no need to worry at all. <laughs> Is that what you've been telling yourself? <laughs> yeah, I told myself that Sunday when I cried to cried in the bed, but uh, I, well, I, I could because I was actually watching it on Red Zone. I said, "Man, you got to be yeah. kidding me!" I was like, "No, man!" Like every week, another top player for me goes down. Well, and it's been that news, way across the league too. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, but the good news about last week it was your Chiefs that they handled the 49ers because the 49ers is team ir team ir it's insane that is man correct. i've never seen a team with so many injuries uh but yeah the chiefs handled them uh mahomes is hit sticking people in the end zone and uh, wow like we talked about it also pre-show is you know mahomes isn't doing anything crazy he's not you know performing that well but that whole chiefs team is uh is helping him out hunt with two touchdowns 78 yards i mean and, and of course, their defense has been pretty good. Yeah, their defense has been solid. Definitely solid. Um, yeah, see, so yeah, you know, yeah, Mahomes, uh, 154 yards. That's not too, too sporty, but they win. And you know, the 49ers kept dropping players off, so it definitely hurt them. But <laughs> maybe the the Chiefs somehow. I hate to say it, sometimes they play to their level of opponent because I think some days they could really blow people out, but they just kind of just, you know, go to work and do what they need to do, which is never bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's two more games I want to talk about before we go into week eight, and uh, that's going to be Aaron Rodgers getting Devontae Adams back and doesn't make a difference. 15-37 uh, to 37 <laughs> final score for that uh Steelers handed handled business with Russell Wilson came back and uh playing for his job and I think he, he secured it what what are y'all thoughts on uh, the Steelers Jets game yeah I mean uh Russ was good I think there was a lot of controversy in the decision uh a lot of lead up and you know a lot of experts saying the timing's not right why you know why bring him back Against the Jets defense is supposed to be one of the better ones in the league, but he sliced them up. Yeah, he, he looked freaking good. Um, and on the other side, the freaking Steelers defense, man, they're they're legit. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if they don't have chemistry. I mean, you, you got Rodgers, Brees Hall, Adams. I mean, you got some talent on that side of the ball, and 
hold them to 15 points. Yeah, I mean, that's freaking – that's unreal. That's pretty good. I mean, especially – I mean, you have Brees Hall and Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Garrett Wilson on the other side. I mean, I knew it was going to be a tough game for the Jets, but I didn't think it was going to be that easy um, for the Steelers to just, like you said, Russell Wilson coming in there kind of cold and didn't really, you know, play any games before this and then um, has to get thrown in against, you know, like you said, great Jets defense. And he he, he looked like he's uh, he's feeling himself now. So, uh, Waterboy, you get to see that game? Yeah, I watched most of it. Yeah, I mean, Rodgers had some unfortunate luck, too. I mean, he had two interceptions bounce yeah. off his guy's hand. You know, I mean. Well, one hit him in the chest. was That was Garrett Wilson. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hit him, I'm telling you, dead center. So that don't, you know, some of it is. I guess it is his. I don't know. But it's all of them's fault. Yeah, they just, uh, the defense and letting Russ cook, I was, uh, I was uh, shocked about the outcome of the total score i would have probably picked the steelers to win and rogers to look better but none of that came true <laughs> no not at all but uh you know what was a great game that you called out was gonna go over and it did um actually heavily over and that's that ravens <laughs> buccaneers game 41 31 72 points total and this was just all offense no defense i mean well i'd say i mean the ravens did decent on the second or third quarter because it held the buccaneers to zero and then that fourth quarter i don't know if they were just like we won i guess it doesn't matter anymore let's stop playing defense and then the bucks came back and put up 21 points but sadly lost uh godwin in the process so uh yeah and mike evans actually went down too so um that not looking good for the buccaneers in the future because that was a good you know decent game but the ravens they look uh they look really good yeah you can't argue against that i mean they're looking uh looking the real deal and i was did uh when did lamar get drafted was he like the third or fourth round uh i don't think he was that late was he i, I don't know maybe I, I, I'm, I'm well I don't know. You might no. I don't know much about college until they get to the NFL. So once they're in the NFL, that's whenever I keep up. So I don't know much about when it when that drafts or anything. So that might be a bunk question. Bunk, you know. You talking about you talking about in, the, in our league? No, just in general, like when oh, he got drafted in the NFL. He was, yeah, he was a. Uh, um, let me see. A pretty late draft pick. Sorry to throw that out there. No, he, no, he was at the end of round one, the very last pick of round one. Yep, 32nd. I lied. Okay. I mean, all those uh, 31 teams who passed on, I'm pretty pissed, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'm he nervous. Balling. I got to face him this week. I'm not going to lie. Right. He's, uh, you know, he can, he can hang 30, 35 on you before you know it. He shocks me, man, and I'm so glad I, I did get that trade in to get him because, you know, I started with C.J. Stroud at the season and able to make a trade and pull Lamar and CMC on the same deal and never look back besides, uh, you know, some injuries. <laughs> so other than that. No, no, it's gonna be, that's going to be a tough combo if McCaffrey comes back and as good as he was, that's uh, those two were tough to play against. Yeah, for sure. So I guess we'll we'll go ahead and bring that uh, to the attention. Myself five and two against the Water Boys five and two. We're in the same division, so one of us has to win and take the lead in the div the division. Uh, good luck, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, good luck. I, I, I wish I you the best. I, I wouldn't want it to be anyone else. I'm glad uh, <laughs> it, it's you. So hopefully um, it goes my way. But if not, hey. Hats off. Hats off. Yeah, I wish you the best. Yeah, we'll see. It's uh I like the way it's setting up. You've got all early games. So I always I don't like that, man. I don't like sitting Do you? And sweating, bro. Okay, so I like I always like to have one or two late games just just cause and and that's really just hoping my early games kind of pop off. Then we could just put a little ice cream with the cake there on Sunday night. <laughs> Yeah, see, I I don't like to be sitting there being like, all right, now I gotta see if his guys score. I'll, but then again, I guess it, I guess it's not 
terrible if you're you're in the lead and you don't have to chase but i don't know it all just depends on how comfortable that lead is because right now i'll show the stream um it's 50 50 win probability with who we have in as of right now so i don't know if that's gonna if you can't read it it's 50 50 trust me uh yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah i got some dis decisions to make though on that lineup because tank bigsby's been the guy over there but also going up against the green bay packers they're more of a run stop defense you'll be able to kind of throw throw on them uh like dink and dunk i don't know etn's questionable who the hell knows what i'm doing there so hey mason's uh, questionable yeah yep but we, you know, got, we, we got the, so uh, the running back one, though. We still got Madison, but he would have to go up against your chief, your Chiefs. So they got a good run defense. So wouldn't be looking yeah, good the, uh, Mason's out. He's always questionable. Be tough. I, 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 I tried to play. get him on the waiver wire, and the cheapest man in the league we outbid me by two damn dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow he's still I, made I, money on the waiver wire. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he made money. He's damn bad. I went back and even done a Kindle move. I went back through the earlier weeks. I was like, four bucks takes every defense. <laughs> and I'd be damned. He went six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he knew something that night. <laughs> he might have I been guess, looking, I uh, looking through your window, trying to put the, over your shoulder, seeing <laughs> what, you, what you're doing. <laughs> Dang on me. <laughs> But you know who else has got a good matchup, and that's Jay Bunk going up against Ryan Workman's. And we were talking, we're praising uh, Ryan Workman's uh, team. He's got he's got a loaded squad. And uh, how are how, how are you feeling going into this one? You're also five and two, and feeling pretty good, huh? Um, cautiously optimistic, but um, yeah, man, he's got a squad. Like me and uh, me and Hex were talking. Uh, I think it was last week about how, like, after the draft, we, like, kind of dismissed him. We are like, dude, he's got a shit team. And, um, yeah, that's not the case. Like, he's freaking loaded. Like, even his bench uh, has players that could be starters on other teams. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So, Pittman, Irving. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so, he's deep. He's got a good squad. Um, but we'll see, man. It's gonna be a tough matchup. We we too are projected within a point yep. of each other. Um, <laughs> I just so. showed the uh, the stream that <clears throat> it's literally fifty fifty on both of these matchups. So yeah, we it's got we're I think we're gonna be sweating on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm not expecting too much. I mean, I I like I'll give him the advantage. Like I, I think he probably pulls it out. Like one of my big players is Neighbors, and he's going against the Steelers this week. So. Uh, you know, yeah, he's projected 15. I, I don't see that happening, honestly. So we'll see. Yeah, you'll, you, I don't know. Some other players might surprise you. That's Projections the whole thing. don't mean shit. Yeah, That's the thing. It really doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't. That just kind of showing us, like, oh, pregame, yeah, they look like it's going to be a good game, but who right. knows? Um, but <clears throat> I mean, both of you guys have good squads, so yeah, I'm curious. I'm I'm gonna be peeking that game while I'm uh, just. Staring you got a at small Waterboy. game played over there, Bunk. You don't have the three different games in play on your team, really. Mm -hmm. I was just looking at her. You got more, but it's a lot of the same. Hope for mm -hmm. some high-scoring games. <laughs> yeah, like um, Hunt and you know Hunt and Bowers and Bucker in the KC yeah. Raiders game. Yeah, yeah. Cooper. Cooper. <clears throat> Mo Cooper. Well, uh, having multiple shares of the bills, but you know, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, uh, I can't, I can't blame you on that. I, you know, I was team Texans and, and Falcons, um, uh, for a long time, but going for, I want, I wrote this down. I wanted to talk about this on the show and see how, how your, your guys thoughts is on this topic. And I feel like there's been inconsistent flags, like, more than usual in the NFL. I, I think the kickoff thing that they've done, I think that's not as good. I think that's kind of, I don't know, I think it's messing things up. What are your thoughts on all these rule changes and, and this inconsistent flag? Do you, is it just me that's seeing this, or is it, I mean, noticeable? Because I, I just see I, I see yellow laundry way too much on Sundays, and, and I'm getting I'm getting annoyed. Because a lot of times they're picking it up and putting it back in their damn pocket. 
and uh that's that's the main thing is like we're just throwing just to throw uh so i don't know that I, i've not been liking that they're not letting them play yeah i mean sorry i was waiting for our boys to chime in but yeah i mean it's just been inconsistent um like i remember like the first game of the season uh i can't remember what team it was but they called like 10 illegal formation penalties in a row because yeah. the, the offensive lineman wasn't lined up properly with the center. Um, and it's like, but since week one, like you haven't really seen that called. And it's just like, I feel like the, in the off season, they inundate all these, these referees with like new rules, rule changes, you know, they don't focus the teams on, though. Yeah. I mean, focus That's on this, focus like. on that. And, and I just, I don't know. I feel like they're trying to they're trying to look at too much. Like they're just <laughs> there's like, too much freaking things to focus on. They're they're lacking in in focus. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. They're they're just putting way too many obstacles to even do, to even snap the ball without a flag coming out <laughs> before like they can drop back. There's three flags by the time. Half of these quarterbacks drop back, and it's it's just it's getting annoying. I mean, there it's uh, now. I don't understand the ones that are actually like it's like oh okay, that that makes sense. It's like okay, he was offsides or he he did you know false start whatever it was. But now it's like the rough in the passer. They're kind of going really weird on that. Um, the targeting stuff. The targeting stuff has been called a lot better in the NCAA. Um, but in the NFL, they're weak on it. Like they they call I, half the half the time. I don't even think these refs know what they're calling. But now they that, usually have form a good committee and talk for a minute or two to figure it out. I mean, that should tell you I what you need to know there. Over what not. they're having for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, they need to figure it out quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. Chicken and rice, get it, get it going. <laughs> get it going. Oh man, anything you guys want to bring up or talk about? Um, you know, either for week eight. I mean, we haven't really talked too much about uh, this upcoming week. What's week or eight? If you want to talk about just like pet peeves, like what I've just brought up. <clears throat> no, I mean that's that's very true. I mean, I'm looking forward to. Uh... The big game, I'm going to say, is probably going to be the uh, – I think the Indy-Houston game is going to be one of the crazy games of the week. I, I'm going to say it's going to be a high-scoring affair. Okay. You think, uh, think who's going to come out on top on that? Houston. Yeah. Houston, but I say it's going to be, you know, not like the Bucks and the uh, Ravens the other night, but definitely – Definitely plenty of points, is my opinion. I don't know why, but Richardson, maybe it'll be a good little little second year shootout between the two QBs there and the teams, and see how we go. And I, I hopefully Houston's pissed off about you know not doing very well last week in Green Bay. Yeah, there's not really many games that really stand out too much for me. I'd say maybe the Eagles Bengals game, or I, I would say the Falcons Bucks if the Bucks had everybody. But now the Fal- you know, Buccaneers, they're throwing to their fourth receiver, I think, third or fourth receiver as their number one. And it's like, ah, uh, I think they're playing banged up, kind of like that 49ers team, but. I actually think that's going to be a better game. The 49ers and Cowboys uh, for Sunday night because the 49ers are banged up. So now the Cowboys, who are 3-0 and on the road, going up against this Niners team who's limping along. So um, that one, I think, stands out. And possibly the Bears and Commanders since uh, Jaden Daniels is kind of – his rib injury is still questionable. Yeah, I don't think he's – he's not practiced. They say he's really – Truly, he's really banged up. Really, <clears throat> yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Me. But, well, then, if, if if he's if he's out, you think this Commanders team continues to do what they've been doing, uh, or is it just because of Jaden Daniels is leading the charge and uh, doing his thing? I mean, he definitely has a lot. Played the Panthers, but <laughs> Marcus Mariota looked pretty good. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, that's terrible. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I think you know da- Daniel's definitely leading the charge, but I think they, I mean, you know, they've been playing good ball and. They just got a lot of good a good swag to them and a good vibe. I mean, that has a lot to do with going in there. You get a little more energy and can push them back, push around a little more. Right. Yeah, I, I, I'm 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 leaning Commanders in that game. Um, especially now, I'm looking. The Commanders are three and zero at home, and the Bears are zero and two on the road. So even that is matching to you know helping me lean even more Commanders. But uh, if you if you're if they do exactly what you're saying and they can uh, get that energy to keep going, uh, d- doesn't really matter who's playing quarterback as long as you know you can just be a check down Charlie or <laughs> whatever you got to do just to get by. I mean the Bears aren't that aren't that great, but either is the Commanders really defense. So I mean as long as the Bears can put up some points, so this game I think could go back and forth. I like it. But what about that Cowboys 49ers? Like, what what are y'all leaning on that? Because mm-hmm. I'm leaning Cowboys just because the 49ers are so banged up. Yeah, that's a tough one, man. I mean, 49ers defense is still pretty good. Yeah. Um, and they're at home, so it's like that, that boosts them. But Cowboys haven't been just, doing too bad on the road. It's just that, you know, you don't know what Cowboys team you're going to get, man. I mean, yeah. If. Dak comes out flinging it and throws it to CD 15 times and he does what he does, then, I mean, yeah, it could be a Cowboys win, but they can't run the freaking ball. So it's like all teams got to do is play the pass because they can't run the freaking ball. So (laughs) I just feel like they're one-dimensional. I feel like they're easy easy to game plan against. I mean, you saw what the Lions did to them, just absolutely obliterated them. I just feel like they're easy to figure out. I feel, I feel like Mike McCarthy sucks. and um, That's 100%. That's not, uh, they're just, that they're just super predictable. So I, I, It's hard for me to pick them to beat anybody right now. Uh, but, we'll yeah. yeah, we'll see. It is. Sorry, that was a little bit of uh, frustration, personally. <laughs> you lose some money on the Cowboys recently. <laughs> Personal pissed offness coming out there. <laughs> um. Well, I guess I'll scroll on through. There's one more that I would I would point out too, is and that's the Bills Seahawks. Uh, I think that could be um, a decent game as well. Uh, Bills are five and two, but the Seahawks are four and three, and and the Seahawks been looking all right. They throw a hundred times a game, but they know how to get it done. Uh, you just saw they they smacked the the uh, Falcons thirty four to fourteen last week, so. Uh, Seahawks looking like they're they're starting to hit their stride. I agree to that. They're looking. I mean, you you said everything I was thinking. I mean, they they chunk it all over. I mean, Geno's been been doing pretty well. Just had his first uh, multi touchdown game versus the Falcons. So yeah. uh, you know, hopefully they'll get uh DK. He'll be playing. Hopefully that'll work. And uh, that's big. You know. Walker's been playing out of his out of his mind when he's been healthy. Yeah, DK it, is so he's he's trying to fight the play or is cuz I thought I saw I thought he was out but is he questionable? He's questionable. He he's going to try to play but probably I would probably plan otherwise. Okay, cuz I, I got to make a decision in one of my leagues. I uh, you know, I got JSN in one of my leagues and if if DK's out, I probably will start him so that i guess it all comes down to that yeah the latest update says um he'll miss the next two practices and have his sprained mcl evaluator on friday Oof. well we'll know friday then um one other game that i don't i don't really care about this game it's not gonna be a, a highlight game but it's the cardinals dolphins and uh is two was playing is that a is that a guarantee or is that a he might play? I think it's a might play at this point. <laughs> what are y'all's Probably thoughts couldn't. on this? Uh, he shouldn't <laughs> be playing. You don't think he should be playing? Well, I mean that's his choice, but I mean he's the one who's gonna have mashed potatoes and <laughs> it for brains. 
it, 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 it sucks because it's so true. I mean, we were talking about this, you know, it, they interviewed him and there was, you know, they're like, you know, there's risks, you know, you going back out there. He said, well, there's risk you getting in your car and going, <laughs> going down the highway. But you made a good point, Waterboy. What did you say earlier about uh, besides the risk going down in the car compared to the NFL? I mean, in the NFL, unless, you know, their their aim is to hit everybody. And, and unless you're at the county fair in the demo derby, when you're going to the grocery store, your aim is to get there and back. And, you know, may, maybe his see, he's already doing bad math in his brain already. So that ought to tell you all you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he, yeah, he loves the game to death. I mean, that's, that's what he said. He literally said that at the end of the interview. So, uh. Hey man, I I feel like a lot of people are gonna be watching this game really closely just to like be like, did Tua take a hit? Did Tua take a hit? Like this is I think this is the biggest kind of like scare because everyone's scared for him. He's just hey, I just want to get out there and play. And we're like, dude, <laughs> you saw all these you know your other peers who had to retire because of this situation. Luke Keekley. I mean, yeah, I didn't want him to go, uh, you know, but if if he would have kept playing. You know, he he uh he would be having a, who knows? He I'm sure he would be in a home somewhere. <laughs> so I'm glad he didn't. Now now he's helping the well.